After months of teased images, dropped hints and hypothetical what-ifs, the Tesla Semi is finally here, or at least we finally know what it will look like and some of the basics as to what to expect when it enters production in 2019. And based on what we know, it's going to be quite a revolutionary vehicle. Find out why next. It's been a week and a half since Tesla CEO Elon Musk finally unveiled the pre-production Tesla Semi and the next generation Tesla Roadster 2 at a special event in California. And while there are going to be plenty of other companies entering the electric truck market around the same time Tesla hopes to begin production of the Semi, there are certainly some differences that set Tesla's answer to short-haul trucking apart from the competition. First up, I should probably give you some stats. Without a trailer, Tesla says the Tesla Semi will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, that's 0 to 96 kph, in 5 seconds. That's more than twice as fast as a regular diesel-powered big rig, revolutionary in itself. But with £80,000 behind it, the Tesla Semi will do the same sprint in 20 seconds, more than three times faster than a diesel vehicle. And since Tesla says the Semi does away with the usual clutch and manual transmission of a diesel truck, it will be a whole lot easier to drive than today's vehicles, with no special shifting patterns to learn. As a side, I should also note that I recently saw a YouTube video of the Tesla Semi accelerating and I thought I heard what was an automatic computer-controlled gear change. But as Tesla doesn't mention it specifically, and I don't have any evidence other than what I heard, I guess it's okay to say at this point that it's gearless from the point of view of the driver. Anyway, aside from all that extra torque and the quad electric motors powering the traction unit, which will help the Tesla Semi climb a 5% grade without slowing down like diesel trucks do, Tesla says its regenerative braking system will recapture 98% of all kinetic energy, meaning the friction brakes will really only need to be used to hold the truck when it's at standstill. This, of course, combined with fewer moving parts that the Tesla Semi has, means that the maintenance requirements for the Tesla Semi are just a fraction of what they would be for a regular big rig. And that means it's going to be far more cost effective for fleets to own and operate. That's all revolutionary enough to earn Tesla some major kudos. But additionally, without a big engine up front or underneath the cab, the Tesla Semi is able to move the driver cab forward, giving a much better, clearer, less obstructed view of the road ahead. And with the driver seated centrally rather than to the side, Tesla claims the truck will be more comfortable to drive than a regular one. There's even enough headroom to properly stand up inside, something not all big rigs offer. Is the seating revolutionary? Well, we've seen central seating before on trucks from the 1950s and 60s and even earlier, so that idea isn't exactly new. However, I do think it's revolutionary if driver vision either side is improved, especially in places where travel between right-hand and left-hand drive countries is common. My home country of the UK is a good example, where hundreds of accidents happen every year because mainland European trucks who are left-hand drive end up on British roads where we drive on the left, making all sorts of issues for other road users. From a safety perspective, that alone is worth a note. Then there's the autonomous capabilities. In addition to all of the autonomous autopilot features we're expecting of all Tesla products for the near future, Tesla says its semi will have platooning at launch, enabling multiple trucks to follow one another in tight formation in a kind of electric road train configuration. I'm guessing conceivably each truck can take a turn to lead, leaving the other truck drivers some time to relax and recuperate rather than being in control of their truck all of the time. Of course, there are some emissions for the Tesla Semi. For a start, it's a day cab vehicle, meaning there's no place to sleep in the back. But since 80% of freight in the US is moved less than 250 miles, Tesla is targeting that market more than the 20% of ultra-long distance haulage. In other words, I don't think you're going to see a Tesla truck on the Dalton Highway anytime soon, but you will see them in heavily populated areas or making trips between distribution centers, shops and businesses. But here's the kicker, with average electricity prices at 12 US cents per kilowatt hour, less for bulk purchases, Tesla says that the Semi will pay for itself in no time, since it will come as a standard with a sticker price of between 150,000 and 180,000 US dollars per vehicle, depending on buyers choosing the 300 or 500 mile range models. I should note, however, that just like Tesla cars, that places the Tesla Semi far higher than any other day cab trucks, which means while some companies will opt to go for it with a long-term view to lower operating costs, 
I'm expecting some companies to balk at the extra outlay initially. You'll note that I also haven't mentioned the Tesla-owned megacharger stations, which Tesla say will add about 400 miles of range in 30 minutes. That's not because I don't believe they're revolutionary, because they are, especially if they're powered by 100% solar, as Tesla hopes they will be, but because in reality, I'm guessing some of the companies who opt to use Tesla semis may not even need to charge up during the day, or they'll use charging while unloading to ready themselves for the next trip. And those who do use mega chargers will likely use that 30 minutes as their official rest period as defined under the current hours of service rules. Although depending on when you take your break, you may need one or two. And I'm not going to go into the intricacies of track regulations here. Anyway, there are plenty of other cool things too, such as the ability of the all-electric drivetrain to notice if the truck is about to jackknife and provide the right amount of power to the correct wheel to make sure it doesn't happen. But while there are plenty of revolutionary things about the Tesla Semi that promise to revolutionize the trucking world, there's one thing I think we're all overlooking, the price of those battery packs. According to my calculations, the battery pack in the Tesla Semi will be somewhere between 600 kilowatt hours and a megawatt hour, depending on the range configuration. Examine the price difference between the two configurations, and we're looking at a difference of around $150 per mile extra in range. Given Tesla says that the fully loaded semi will use less than two kilowatt hours of energy per mile, that means Tesla has a very likely brought down the cost of its batteries to below $100 per kilowatt hour. And that is the really revolutionary thing, because if Tesla really has broken that barrier, then other companies will follow suit. And at that kind of price, electric cars with two or three hundred mile battery packs could really be possible in truly affordable prices at a cost that's no more than today's daily driver hatchbacks. And for that, I'm very, very excited. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded and click the Patreon link at the end of this video or in the description below if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving.